Hey guys, this is Mitch Mailer from CravingHealthyLife.com and today we're going to talk about cell salts. Cell salts are based on biochemistry and biochemistry is broken down into chemistry of life. Developed by a medical doctor named Wilhelm Schussler. Now Schussler was looking at some work from a guy named Virchow who did cellular pathology and he found that when you were healing the individual cells, healing would occur and if the individual cells were unhealthy, then there would be some illness that would occur. Now there's also a Dutch physiologist named Jacob Mullenscott, and he's the one that termed that phosphor was super important for the nervous system. So that got Schuster even more interested in what these minerals were doing in the body. There was also an agriculturist named Justin von Liebig, and he found that when plants were missing key minerals, they wouldn't totally flourish or grow properly, but when those minerals were reintroduced into the soil and absorbed into the plant, they would just all of a sudden start growing really well. So that's how Schuster identified 12 key minerals that were essential to the body. So in 1874, he wrote an abridged therapy on the basis of physiology and cellular pathology. And that's how the whole biochemical system of medicine was kind of evolved. Now, how do they differ from other types of minerals? That's a common question I get all the time. So let's talk about the four categories of minerals. First one is trace minerals. Now trace minerals are in your blood plasma at 50 parts per million or less, so very minute amounts. And typically trace minerals aren't considered essential, but they are important in regards to regular functions in the body. Then of course you have things like electrolytes. Now electrolytes are typically minerals in a sugar type solution. You got sodium, potassium, um, magnesium. And now if you're doing an endurance event, 45 minutes, 60 minutes or more, yeah sure, you can use electrolytes. But anything less than that, you don't really need a lot of that sugar. So if you're just having a half an hour workout, you don't need to be drinking lots of sugar water with those electrolytes, okay? You can just drink regular water with some regular tissue salts in it. The third category, of course, is your regular minerals. And of course, regular minerals are super important. But what a lot of people don't realize is you can cause imbalances with minerals if you're taking too much of individual minerals. For example, you take too much iron, all of a sudden that affects zinc. And when you affect zinc, all of a sudden selenium and manganese is affected. So all of a sudden, you know, there's a chain reaction in the body. So it's really important. Now, if your cells have a disruption in them, then they're not gonna get absorbed anyway. A great example of that is magnesium. People have cramps, they start taking tons of magnesium, but they still get cramps. What's that all about? You can have magnesium in your system, but if there's disruption at the cellular level, then it still can't get to where it needs to get to, so you're still gonna get cramps. So how does those tissue salts differ? Now all tissue salts have a positive and a negative ion. They have an alkaline and an acidic component, so they're very balanced in that sense. They're typically diluted in a 3x, a 6x, or a 12x potency. 6x is probably the most commonly used out there, so they're really easy to assimilate in the body. Plus, a lot of times you can get these quick dissolving tabs, you put them in your mouth, they absorb through your mucous membranes, so they bypass the stomach and the intestinal tract where a lot of people nowadays are struggling. Why do we have all these deficiencies nowadays? Well, there's tons of reasons why. Look at all the stresses we have. The food system that's going out there right now, mass productions, soil depletions, uh, greatly affecting the quality of our foods. Pesticides, herbicides, uh, irradiation of our food, I mean, all those things are huge. Pollution of water, pollution of air, uh, electromagnetic electromagnetic radiation, cell phone towers, cell phones, uh, scanners at airports, uh, stresses from people that are working too much or they're really stressed at their job or they're overworking, uh, working out too much and they're not giving their body enough time to recover, uh, unhealthy relationships, um, spiritual avoidance. I mean, there's all sorts of things that can cause depletion because stress causes uh, like an acidic reaction in the body. And when that happens, your body buffers it with minerals. So over time, your body gets really depleted. Now Schuster said that 
the remedies, the minerals have to be prepared and diluted to a degree where they don't disrupt healthy cells, but that they can help correct malfunctioning cells. And that's where the tissue salts come in. There. But what I tell people nowadays is start off with like a 12 one combination. Most people are depleted enough that they need like a 12 one combination. I call it like a general fertilizer. But if you still get individual symptoms, let's say you're taking a 12-in-1 combination. Easy way to take it, for example, is take your water bottle, take a cap full of quick dissolving tabs, throw them in your water bottle, close the water bottle before you shake it. You notice how it looks cloudy? Just wait a few seconds, it'll slowly disappear. So if, if you still get individual symptoms, then you want to focus on the individual cell salt. For example, if you're still getting cramps, even when you're taking the 12-1 combination, emphasize with MAGFOS. If you're feeling overwhelmed, you're feeling stressed, uh, worried, you can't focus, hey, that sounds like a lot of us, uh, then you want to focus on CaliFOS. If you're getting some hyperacidic conditions, like arthritic type conditions, maybe even a gout type condition, or you don't cool down properly after a workout, take Nat Foss, the biochemic antacid. And then of course, if you're getting the onset of a sore throat or a cold, then take Ferrum Foss. So the individual cell salts are better for specific individual symptoms. Take several doses throughout the day, typically four tablets, four times a day, or like I say, put a whole capful, see how it's totally clear now. Drink it throughout the day. and maintain cellular health. Hope you find this helpful. I look for other videos coming in the future regarding different topics. And this is Mitch Miller, enjoy your cell salts.